I think RFA really should be considered as a first line treatment. Um, you know, the North American Society of Interventional Endocrinology, NSOIE, is actually the only major one that currently recommends it as a potential first line treatment. You know, the ATA and some of the other societies are still, you know, it's kind of a, an alternative. I and mean, so they're still really looking at, at radioiodine in surgery. I do think that if the goal is to stay off of thyroid hormone and it is the right nodule, it really should be considered as a first line treatment. And I think if you're speaking to either a physician, and hopefully not an endocrinologist who is so not familiar with the RFA versus RAIA, then, then that's an area where you, you need to get a second opinion. Do I think RFA is right for every nodule? No. I, I think it is a highly effective therapy in, in the setting of the right nodule, the right patient, and the right physician doing it. And um, I, I think it's going to become more popular for doing this, but I also think that it's not right for every patient.